Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another Empires and Puzzles video. And in this video, I want to show you, I think, Hero that a bunch of people are overlooking. And there are some comparisons that I want to make um, that I think will help shed a clearer light on this particular hero. So, um, you've already read the title, so you know who I'm talking about. Here we have the costume version of what I think is pronounced Alacy. Um, if you think you know better than me, feel free to give that in the comments below. Um, so, uh, the standard version was a ranger. She's now been what I would consider upgraded to a rogue. Uh, stats are quite good. Um, the comparison that I want to make is between her and Master Lepus. He has long been a hero that was well regarded for his really hard hit. So much so that they felt to balance him, they needed to make him decrease his own defense uh, after after he hit. You know, part of his special skill, like all of those Easter heroes, is they have something negative they do to themselves or to their team. And so he would give himself negative defense. So with full attack emblems, he is about 893, I think. And so she's 864. Um, her damage is 412 to the target and minor to nearby. His is 410 to the target and minor to nearby. So she has a slight edge in terms of the percentage. However, he's got a bit of a higher attack stat. Um, his defense is just a tad lower at right about 800 with a full defense path. Um, but his HP is like under 1300, I think at like 1295, maybe somewhere around there quite low. And hers is pushing, uh, 1550. So she's also got this costume bonus. Um, well, those are part of the stats. 1% mana doesn't really make that much of a difference. And she's giving herself plus 10% defense. So she's actually, uh, pushing 900 on defense, which is pretty amazing. These Legends family bonuses, how they can apply to only one hero, and you don't have to... Um, it's the only family bonus I know of that applies to individual heroes. Usually it's for two or three, or two, three, four, or five, something like that. So pretty amazing that she just has this flat boost to defense. So all of these things have made her a very popular hero suddenly, and I'm seeing teams, um, alliances, I should say, like Seven Days Departed, where multiple people are limit-breaking her for defense, and why would that be? She hits just about as hard as Master Lepus. Her defense, her stats are, are crazy um, can, compared to him. She's a rogue, um... Um, and then the other parts of her special skill, so a very hard hit, reduces the mana of target and nearby enemies by 20%, the target and nearby enemies get minus 24% mana generation for 3 turns, and it's uncleansable, um, and then she's got this element link, which is not that significant, but to give her another 5% attack and defense, certainly isn't bad. Um, so what's significant about these? The, uh, minus... 20% or the 20% mana cut is not crazy, but it's quite good considering that it's to three. Um, if we look at another hero that does this, Ruby, um, at her essentially functionally fast charge, she's dropping mana by 50% to three, and I think also giving them minus 24%. I might be 34 at that level, but it might just be 24. However, hers is cleansable, and she's a lot less reliable on defense. Um, and her family bonus, you need to have two or more heroes. So this hero is one that was not that great. Um, she was just an ordinary sniper. There were some cool things about her. She, she certainly had her moment um, in the spotlight, you know, maybe a year and a half, two years ago. Not exactly sure how long she's been out. But this refresher makes her pretty good on offense and very good on defense and anytime a hero can fit both of those categories they are quite an impactful hero so it's interesting to see her popping up a lot of places now 
Um, and I think a lot of people when they're making their ascensions want to make their decision based on defense and offense if possible. Some people prioritize defense more. I'm someone that probably prioritizes offense more, but I do think about defense at the same time. Um, so let's check her out in action, see what this hit looks like. Um, we know what approximately 20% mana cut is going to look like. 24% decrease to mana generation, uncleansable, um, is basically what Teluria used to give. And that's enough to screw up, I think, all of your mana breakpoints. So if you're bringing average speed heroes and you have your level 23 mana troops, well, they're now going to need 10 tiles to charge, which is a huge difference. If you have your very fast speed heroes with a level 11 mana troop, they're going to need um, six and a half tiles now. So, or, you know, more than six. So um, it's a significant number. The fact that it's uncleansable and comes with a mana cut is just totally screwing up your attack team. So she's a natural born defensive hero. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at her in action. I'm going to go with a green team here um, because they have so many blues on this team. And we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm also clear, curious to see what this hit is going to look like because, uh, like I said, for such a long time, Master Lepus was like, oh, he's this super hard-hitting sniper. That's why he has to have this um, self-inflicted ailment, because otherwise he'd be too strong. We're seeing a lot of movement away from that kind of meta where more and more heroes are becoming fast speed, whereas people might have said in the past, oh, they need to be slow, otherwise they're too good, etc., etc. So, um, yeah, basically, Lepus harms himself. She doesn't do that, and she adds all of these other really good, um, ailments and and effects to her abilities so here she is ready to go off uh the dodge is definitely a problem here because i want to use my heroes so that i don't lose mana from any key heroes however um she's gonna screw that up a bit so let's go over here and see if we can get lucky All right, 917, that is with minus 34% defense. Um, so yeah, her defense with troops, 953, and then we can add this 190, so it's 1,000. Um, wow, that's pretty damn high. Um, like 1140 with almost 1100 attack stat. So she's pretty interesting. Um, I wish I had more telescopes because I did get her in the event. Um, but I got a lot of blues that I want to send right now. All right, I think we're going to lose our healer. Not quite. Uh... So I guess we'll go over here. I want to let Lacey fire again. Oh, there we go. Now she's... Now she's gone. Wow, that makes Catalan hit really hard, too. Interesting defense team. I think the triple blues is, is uh, a weakness, but it's interesting to... how the double greens are actually providing something beneficial as well okay here she is ready to go again um oh that's why they did it because she's also a 2018 so they've got this so let's see now oh, okay that's her the 190 is after she fired so that's with the additional five percent so she has plus 20% happening now. 15% would be, I don't know, she'd still be about 1,100 defense, which is quite respectable because that's about where Costume Catalan is. And uh, her attack stat is a bit, quite a bit lower. Um, 
So yeah, pretty cool, in my opinion. Oh, and hell gets screwed over. All right, uh, I think that showed what I, what I wanted to, um, what I wanted to show. Pretty damn annoying. See, he's stuck with this debuff. That's why I think he wasn't ready at the same time that Fog was. I wasn't paying super close attention to that. Uh, yeah, so show your thoughts on these hero, on this hero in the comments below. I'm curious what you guys think, if you've had experience with her, if you've chosen to ascend her, anything like that. I definitely want to know. Uh, she did kind of make my list of heroes that I'm interested in. But again, I've got um, some other stuff I wanted to do before that, so... All right, she's going to screw me over again. It's actually possible I don't win this. No, I think we're good now. Yeah, quite respectable defense. I love that those uh, Legends family bonuses are just there at all times. So the mono one is less significant. It can be helpful if you have... Um, underdeveloped troops and you're trying to compensate for that that can be great however the like bonuses to attack and um defense things like that where they're just there from the start is basically just a free stat boost and that is pretty awesome so yeah share your thoughts in the comments down below please hit that like button and subscribe thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video